This is the Summer Kart 64. This is a completely open source N64 emulation kart along the same lines as the EverDrive, but it is a whole lot cheaper. Let's have a wee look. So this is the Summer Kart 64. Now this is along the same lines as the Chris EverDrive, and in the past I have done the Pico Kart 64, which is along the same lines, but it was very, very limited. Now what sets this apart for the other EverDrives is the fact that this can emulate 64DD, which is a big selling point for me. So now let's have a quick look at setting this thing up, because there's a few things you need to do before you start playing your games. So the first thing is we'll get the SD card sorted. Now what we're going to have to download is the menus file. So we'll go to this website here, link down below and download the file. Now it does show you here how the menus on the card should be set up. So you drag this menu file to the root of the SD card. After that we're going to set up the 64DD. So again it will show you where to set up the 64DD folder. You go to this website, you download these three files and drag them over to your summer card. Next thing is just setting up the game directories. Now, you can kind of set this up how you like. Now, I've just made a folder called Games, and this is where all the standard N64 games were going. There's also ROM hacks, which is, you know, ROM hacks. The 64DD files, as well as some emulation. So, we'll try the SNES there later on in the video. But first things first, we're going to try some Tony Hawk, see how it runs. And as you can see, everything is running as smooth as can be, so let's try some Doom 64. Another big selling point for me for this is also playing some of these ROM hacks. Now I love playing these on the emulators on the PC, but there's just something about you know playing it on actual hardware, it just makes it seem more legitimate. And booting some of these up, it's just it's just so cool. Just having all these kind of new old games to play on a 64 on the 64, I just think's amazing. But anyway, here's a Super Mario 64 ROM hack called Zelda's Birthday, I think it was, where it's basically Zelda in Mario 64. So we'll have a wee look at this. Right, so now it's time to get stuck into the 64DD. Now for this you'll need to check on the website that I linked below because I think you need the Japanese versions of the games. Now I'm not entirely sure, but for me I had to use the Japanese ones. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to click on to the game. You're going to select it, but you're not going to press A to load. You're going to press B to exit. Then you're going to go back to wherever your 64DD files are stored. You're going to click into it and then press R. It'll say load with ROM. And then once you've pressed that, it should boot up. And as you can see, everything is loading as should be, man. This is so cool. I actually kind of get over how cool this is because the sixty, the sixty-four DD is is a is a holy grail item for me, and I've wanted one for so so long. I remember reading about it back in the day and was devastated when it got cancelled, and it's only been in the last few years that I've been really, really, really after one. And this just kind of gives you the accessibility. Again, playing the 64DD on the original hardware is just next level. There's just, oh, you, if you know, you know. Now, as you saw earlier on, there were some SNES games on this. Now, to get the SNES files converted over to 
N64 files. There is some things you need to do online which I'll go over maybe in another video or maybe a short. But when I tried it, it was a bit janky. It wasn't the best, like it's, it seems to be running smooth but the audio is very delayed. There's a kind of echo and I'm not sure if there was some kind of slowdown and even some, I don't know, maybe frame rate issues and stuff like that. Either way, I think it's still cool that it can be done. It's the beginning of something. Again, like I said, this is all open source, so there are so there are some smart people out there working on stuff like this, which gets me super, super excited. But at the end of the day, playing your SNES on the N64 is just cool. So that is the Summer Kart 64, what can I say, it's absolutely amazing. I have been after a kind of flash cart like this for ages and I was always uncertain about getting the Everdrives. I tried the Pico Boot just because it was cheap and it was going to be just a cool wee project but this, this absolutely delivers. There's no issues with running the games, running the ROM hacks is amazing, running the 64 DD is absolutely next level stuff as well for me and I am absolutely in love with this cart. One thing that I should have mentioned I feel like near the start of the video is when you're setting this up make sure you've got the 2032 battery in the board as well as make sure it's the right orientation so it should be bumpy side down flat side up so the positive side should be on the top. When I first got mines and I was putting it in there was nothing happening and I was getting a wee bit uncertain as to what was going on and then I read something on the discord which I recommend you join um, that you need to put in the battery and it should be good to go. Now there's another thing as well is apparently it can connect, it can detect uh, your console region as well. So when we ordered this for the States it must have been set to NTSC. Mine is obviously a PAL. When I've plugged it in nothing's came up but if that happens just switch the console off, back on again and then it should come on. It should come up. Like, you know, the, the whole classic have you switched it off and on again thing. Um, but besides that, getting the SD card ready, getting the battery in, getting the menus, getting the files, getting the 64 uh, DD files and everything set up, I think everything else is pretty much straightforward. It would be cool if it was like, if it was more kind of plug and play, but at the same time with this being open source, everything, everything's basically covered for. I'll throw in all the links down below, like I said. And if there are any questions, just please give me a shout or go to the website and go to the join or Discord and stuff like that because it is all super, super helpful. And um, I'm going to stop rambling, guys. Thanks a million for everything recently. Like I say, James and I have recently hit over the 1,000 subs. We're on 1,200 now. Our numbers are steadily decreasing. And we just want to thank everybody so, so much. It's it's beyond belief how, how quickly everything's kind of came to in the last couple of months but um again a massive massive thank you so if you've got a summer cart and you're into this these kind of flash carts please let me know down below and guys until the next one my name is graham and i'll see you then bye for now